Welcome! Today we'll discuss the basic functionality of the DAS to Blender bridge. Let's start with DAS Studio. First, we'll add a figure to the scene. For this video, we'll use Victoria 9. After adding a character, you may want to give her some clothing and hair. Now, let's render an image using iRay to get a reference. When you're ready to export, with our DAS character selected in the scene, navigate to the File menu and choose DAS to Blender. The DAS to Blender bridge will pop up. Let's get all these settings the same. Ensure the asset type is set to Skeletal Mesh, since we're dealing with a rigged figure. Click Accept. Once the process is completed, click OK, and let's switch over to Blender. In Blender, we'll want to start with a blank canvas. Press A to select all the starter objects in the scene, and then X to delete them. Now, locate the small arrow on the right edge of the viewport and open up the tool shelf. At the bottom, you should see the DAS to Blender tab. There are two top options here, Import New Genesis Figure and Import New Environment Prop. Since we have rigged a figure, we're going with the Genesis Figure. Click once more to confirm your choice and wait for the import to finish. Now our figure is imported into Blender. Let's add a camera to the scene to render an image. With the camera added and selected, navigate to the View sub-menu. Choose Align View and select Align Active Camera to View. Now, navigate to Render and select Render Image. Compare this with the iRay reference image rendered in DAS Studio to ensure your import was successful. That's all for this video. I hope you found this tutorial on using the DAS to Blender bridge helpful. 